Well, we are back with another special, special episode of Behind the Pads, episode 21. Whoo! We here. We made it this far. What more can I say? We're keeping this one quick, smooth, and easy, featuring a brand new expansion by Native Instruments Machine Expansion, Magnetic Coast. You know, if you're into the likes of Flying Lotus and shit like that, then maybe you'll dig this new expansion. I'll be honest, I have not opened it yet, so we're hearing this for the first time together, you and I. Boom. So, you know, maybe I'll get all the ish out the way right away. If you're into what I'm doing and you're new to the channel, all the links below will lead you to the new expansion that they just dropped, my machine, the SP404, the link to the camera I use, to the lens I'm using on my iPhone, boom. Just everything. Links to my music, Spotify, Rare Sounds World is the crew. Good music is what we do. I'm trying to take this vision past great for you and me. So let's keep it moving, keep it grooving and under control. The last two videos, I used a drum kit with the machine and went all out. Today, we're keeping it simple, doing the machine expansion. So, as usual, machine, standalone, well, standalone application, running out of its own interface, in through the SP, into my Motu interface, the typical setup. Okay, dope. So, let's start right here. Empty machine session, literally completely empty. Um... I have a feeling that we're going to be working on a live performance beat today and not a produced track, which is cool, but we're starting straight from nothing and opening up groups. Uh, I already have Magnetic Coast open there and... Okay. Cool sounds. Okay, so let's see if I open this. Okay, see. This this group is filled with just dope samples, but no drums. So maybe what I'll do is because I might I might want to use these. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do is keep this group open just because I really like that. It's called Connected Kit. Really dope samples. I'm going to open up another group and keep looking for some other samples just in case. Okay, so let's try this. Shit, side chain? What? Let's see. There it is. Damn, you already side chained it for me? Come on. Native doing all the work for you. God damn. Okay, well, I might just be able to copy some of those samples over. Okay, so let's do. Okay, this is where we're at. We got. 
connected kit in the machine expansion in group A, and it's just a bunch of samples. And then we have drifting kit, which is, it's just got drum samples, and it's also got some like sample samples. So I'm gonna delete most of these. <laughs> that was quite the delay. Okay, cool. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete that too so we have more room for the samples here. Okay, so I deleted all the samples I didn't want from Drifting Kit. But I do really like these drum sounds, you know. I, I figure I'm gonna stay within the machine expansion completely for this live beat. So, let's go and maybe we'll take... Keep those drums. I'm gonna get rid of this, but what I'm gonna do is copy the sidechain that's on it. Let's see if I can do it like this. Copy the sidechain, and we're gonna take this, because that's the sample I want. And we're gonna paste that sidechain. Okay, cool. And then I'm also gonna go to the sample, and we're gonna put polyphony down to one, type one shot. And then velocity destination, 0% volume, so that this pad and boom. I'm going to have to do that for each one here, but so maybe what I'll just do is save myself the time here and just select all in the original group. One shot, polyphony, one, then we're good. Okay, so... This is cool. Okay, dope. We still good. We're still good. All right. Uh, let's see what else we have here because I'm going to continue on that train. I like that. Okay, let's see what else. Let's take that, and I'm going to take this one. I'm going to do the same thing where I paste the... Let's see if that actually works. Yeah, dope. Okay. cool oh that's cool <laughs> i'm like scaring myself from my own voice okay dope so we got a little zone in there 
and just a reminder, everything, again, everything I'm using are sounds that are coming from the Machine Expansion Magnetic Coast. It's got cool sounds. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is a super quick little chop through of it, but let's keep moving on it and uh, seeing if I can add some bass zone layers because those are cool, but I think I'm going to get rid of them and maybe just duplicate... Duplicate the pads over, so these are all the same. But what we're gonna do for these top ones is add bass zones in, so we can kind of just have like a four-part no bass moment and four-part with bass moment. A couple layers, some percussive layers, and then the kit. So, super simple. Let's try adding the zones in. If I go zone, add, and let's see if there's bass in here that I can actually just add in, you know what I mean? See, I like bass. Let's edit the end of that to just... Maybe we'll add the same note there. See what other bases. Picking such random different bases here, but it's kind of cool. We all do that one again. So, kick, snare, hat, weird shaker, weird percussive thing, weird snap, and then we have our cool little sound effect, a little arp, just a sample, and then the sample with the bass. Super straightforward today. Let's try and change the colors of these now. Straight up on pad mode. We're gonna, it's already selected and then default let's go i've been really messing with that uh turquoise lately but let's go plum let's go plum for each one of these i still haven't seen an update yet on being able to select and change colors of multiple pads but it's cool same thing for all my drum elements making them a plum color. And then let's go into the kick here and bring that volume percentage a little lower. And same thing with the snare. I'm putting it at like 77% ish just because like I still want some dynamic, but I don't want to miss triggering notes and same thing. Like see how light I'm hitting it. And we can't, we can barely hear it, but if I go 60, 60 ish percent, that's cool. Same thing with this.
Okay, that's cool. And then let's get rid of... Because I'm not using any of the effects that are on the actual group itself just to save my CPU power because I'm... The limiter is fine, I think. What I might do, though, is put on the good old Wolf Comp. I think that's where I'm going to stop it. I wanted to keep this video super simple. The last few I did were pretty intense setups and uh, super long videos, like oh, like 30 minutes. I broke 30 minutes. That's like, who's sitting through that whole thing? That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the links below. If you got questions, please drop them in the comments below. Uh, you know, I try to answer everything that I can. And machine expansion, brand new. Magnetic Coast, super dope sounds. I haven't even listened to them all, but you saw I made this track from two separate groups, just combining the two and things I liked from each, uh, just to show you that you don't have to stay committed to just one expansion group. You know, mix and match. Take some things from other ones and super easily laid out. So also, I just want to mention my Behind the Pads merch still isn't here yet, but we're close. We're super close. And I'll be dropping that soon. In the meantime, there's a link below to my merch site. I have a, a website that's got my vinyl on there. Boom, which is super dope. Limited edition see-through yellow vinyl. It's so dope. I appreciate all the peeps that have been uh, picking up the record. I've also got these dope-ass long sleeves. And I just want to say, I make this shit myself. I press it myself. I print it myself. I do it all. And I love doing it. So if you're buying my shit, you're supporting me as an artist and a creative. And, uh, and I just want to keep delivering the best content that I can. So until next time, peace, yo. I take that. Cool. All right.